I'd wait until like a week into classes to see if the professor is actually starting to use it, and if they are, then I buy them online just because it's normally cheaper there. Um, but also you can buy them at the bookstore too, just because I have that return policy. I got my books, um, there's this website called bigwords.com, and you can just go there and you type in the ISBN and then it brings up the cheapest books. So I got most of my books from there, and then um, a couple were from professors that I had to order them from. I got all my books at the bookstore, I just showed up um, on movement day and bought them all there. This year I didn't buy any books ahead of time, because I realized that there's a bunch of books that I just haven't used. So I'm going to go to all my classes and see which books I have to buy. I get my textbooks from websites like Chegg.com or textbookrentals.com. But I felt the easiest was just coming to the bookstore and buying them here, so that's what I did. I went on Half.com and ordered most of my books new for cheaper than it was at the bookstore, I guess. Um, I just looked for the cheapest price. I usually look on Amazon.com for a cheap buy, but if I can't find it there, I just buy it from the bookstore. Um, I got my books at the bookstore this year, um, and it worked really well, they were really helpful. I looked on the internet, I found Half.com, get old editions of books for like 75 cents. Uh, Chegg.com is another good site. Um, I went on Amazon and just ordered all of them used. Um, I prefer to just have the actual textbook as opposed to the source online, or I guess maybe other handheld articles are also good. I just prefer to be able to have it and hold it and 